Hey folks, so this is that uh, Brinks hardened steel uh, shackled padlock that we had looked at uh, in my last video. I finally got a second one so I could take that retaining pin out. Uh, so now I'm going to actually get this thing open for you. Uh, so the first thing here is I'm going to take the key, lock that shackle just in case. It's not that we actually need it for this. And here's the cylinder out. Got to be careful not to drop that actuator. Uh, now this hole here is where that retaining pin dropped in from uh, the hole in the body. And it goes all the way through, but there's a second pin in here that we have to take out. And, yeah, there we go. We've got it tapped out. This thing is kind of interesting because if you look, the end of it that goes inside the lock focus for me, is slightly tapered, and that's because there's a groove running through about 90 degrees of the plug over here uh, that acts as a rotation limiter. So what we're going to do to get it open is we're going to turn it the other way uh, because we don't want to drop any of the pins into that uh, groove. We're going to make sure that the follower won't let anything fall out. And there we go. So let's see what we've got in terms of key pins. Number one is serrated. Come on. Number two doesn't look like it's serrated. Number three serrated. Number four Almost there. Oh. Very small and it looks like it's serrated. Hang on, let's do so six small and serrated and number five medium and serrated. And don't see anything funky in the chambers there. And let's take a look at what's in the uh, top of the plug. Now, like American Lock, it's got all these holes in the bottom, so you've got to be careful when you're removing the uh, plug follower that you don't drop anything at those holes. There's one. It's a serrated spool. Two like a steel standard. Yeah. Spring really doesn't want to come out. Well, anyway, uh, number three is another serrated spool. Number four, another serrated spool. Number five, serrated spool. Number six, serrated spool. So this thing is basically all spools with the exception of that one pin. And from the looks of it, that might actually be a steel anti-drill pin. So there you go. So these look very similar to American lock pins. Uh, the serrated spools are the same basic design and the serrated key pins are the same basic design, but the addition of that uh, standard anti-drill pin uh, makes it that much more difficult for someone to drill into this thing. So, and we've solved that little mystery. Uh, we'll get back to actually picking things in the next video. Thanks.